Greetings my YouTube friends. Thank you for joining me on the People's Connection. Uh, today I bring you a little bit of sad news. We just lost another legend and this time we lost the great three-time heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali. Ali, who had a long battle with Parkinson's disease, was taken to a Phoenix area hospital earlier this week where he was being treated for a respiratory issue. He was 74 years old. Once the most outrageous trash talker in sports, he was largely muted for the last quarter century of his life quieted by a battle with Parkinson's. Born Cassius Marcel Clay Jr. on January 17, 1942 in Louisville, Kentucky, Ali learned to box after his bicycle was stolen when he was 12 years old. He would go on to become known as the greatest and at his peak in the 1970s was among the most recognizable faces on earth. Muhammad Ali was known for his tendency to, to recite poems while making predictions about his fights. Quote, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The hands can't hit what the eyes can't see. As well as forgiving opponents often unflattering nicknames. He referred to Sonny Liston as, quote, the big ugly bear, George Chivalo as the washerwoman, Floyd Patterson as the rabbit, and Ernie Shavers as the acorn. But his most controversial and some would say cruel nicknames was, was reserved for his fiercest rival, Joe Frazier. He, was, he first dubbed Frazier Uncle Tom and then later called him the gorilla. After the terrorist shootings in San Bernardino, Ali released a statement through his publicist. The headline said, quote, Statement from Muhammad Ali regarding presidential candidates proposing to ban Muslim immigration to the United States, unquote. Quote, I am a Muslim and there is nothing Islamic about killing innocent people in Paris, San Bernardino, or anywhere else in the world, Ali said in the statement. Quote, true Muslims know that the ruthless violence of so-called Islamic jihadists goes against the very tenets of our religion. Quote, we as Muslims have to stand up to those who use Islam to advance their own personal agenda. They have alienated many from learning about Islam. True Muslims know or should know that it goes against our religion to try and force Islam on anybody. Speaking as someone who has never been accused of political correctness, I believe that our political leaders should use their position to bring understanding about the religion of Islam and clarify that these misguided murderers have perverted people's views of, on what Islam really is, unquote. It's the last major public statement Muhammad Ali ever made. May he, may he rest in peace. God bless you, Muhammad Ali. You were truly the world's greatest heavyweight champion boxer. I want to close now this video by saying God bless you, Muhammad Ali, Cassius Marcel Clay Jr. May your soul rest in peace and may we give a moment of silence. Thank you very much, my YouTube friends. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. Thanks again for watching. This is Guru Too Cool. I approve of this message. Peace out.